Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago that a bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Hijacked planes cutting through a cloudless September sky, the Twin Towers collapsing to the ground, black smoke billowing up from the Pentagon, the wreckage of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where the actions of heroic citizens saved even more heartbreak and destruction. And yet we know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father, parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace. Nearly 3,000 citizens taken from us, leaving a gaping hole in our hearts. On September 11th, 2001, in our time of grief, the American people came together. We offered our neighbors a hand, and we offered the wounded our blood. We reaffirmed our ties to each other and our love of community and country. On that day, no matter where we came from, what God we prayed to, or what race or ethnicity we were, we were united as one American family. We were also united in our resolve to protect our nation and to bring, to bring those who committed this vicious attack to justice. We click, quickly learned that the 9-11 attacks were carried out by al-Qaeda, an organization headed by Osama bin Laden, which had openly declared war on the United States and was committed to killing innocents in our country and around the globe. And so we went to war against al-Qaeda to protect our citizens, our friends, and our allies. Over the last 10 years, thanks to the tireless and heroic work of our military and our counterterrorism professionals, we've made great strides in that effort. We've disrupted terrorist attacks and strengthened our homeland defense. In Afghanistan, we removed the Taliban government, which had given bin Laden and al-Qaeda safe haven and support. And around the globe, we worked with our friends and allies to capture or kill scores of al-Qaeda terrorists, including several who were a part of the 9-11 plot. Yet Osama bin Laden avoided capture and escaped across the Afghan border into Pakistan. Meanwhile, al-Qaeda continued to operate from along that border and operate through its affiliates across the world. And so shortly after taking office, I directed Leon Panetta, the director of the CIA, to make the killing or capture of bin Laden the top priority of our war against al-Qaeda even as we continued our broader efforts to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat his network. Then, last August, after years of painstaking work by our intelligence community, I was briefed on a possible lead to bin Laden. It was far from certain, and it took many months to run this thread to ground. اسامه ابن محمد ابن عوض ابن لادن در دهم مارچ سال 1957 میلادی در شهر ریاض عربستان سعودی به دنیا آمد. وی در جوانی برای کمک و مجاهدان افغان به افغانستان آمد و مدتی پس از آن روابطش با حکومت عربستان سعودی تیره شد و شبکه القایده را تأسیس کرد. اسامه بن لادن در ارتباط با حملات روسی بسیاری در سراسر سر سر جهان از جمله به امگذاری های 7 اگست 1998 در سفارتخانه های امریکا در دارالسلام تانزانیا و نایروبی حمله به کشتی جنگی یو اس اس ای کول و حمله 11 سپتامبر 2001 به مرکز تجارت جهانی و پنتاگون تحت تعقیب پلیس فدرال آمریکا قرار داشت. همچنان اسامه بن لادن دستور اولین عملیات انتحاری را برای ترور احمد شاه مسعود رهبر جبهه متحد افغانستان بر ضد طالبان صادر کرد. در 15 ژانویه 2009 در خلال جنگ غزه پیام صوتی از وی در وبگاه شبکه خبری الجزیره منتشر شد که مخاطبان را به جهاد و مبارزه علیه اسرائیل و آزادی نوار غزه از دست ارتش اسرائیل فراخواند. 
روزنامه یا شرق الاوسط در دهم جنوری 2010 نوشت که یکی از همسران بن لادن به نام خیریه یا هم حمزه به همراه یک دختر و پنج پسر بن لادن به همراه تعداد دیگری از خانواده او از سال 2001 یعنی از زمان حمله امریکا به افغانستان در مجتمع مسکونی در اطراف تهران در حبس خانگی بودند از سال 2001 بعد این سو اسامه بن لادن همواره در خفا به سر میبرد و با آنکه گفته میشد وای در پاکستان به سر میبرد اما مقام های پاکستانی همواره این گفته ها را رد میکردند در جریان این سالها نوارهای صوتی زیادی از اسامه بن رسانه ها رسید اما نوار تصویری از وی منتشر نشد تا مشخص شود که وی در کجا به سر میبرد در حالی که در یک سال گذشته خبرهای اندکی از فعالیت های رهبر القاعده در رسانه ها منتشر شده است اما با یک بارگی خبر کشته شدن وی از سوی ایالات متحده آمریکا منتشر شد اسامه بن لادن پنج زن به نام های نجوا خانم ام علی ام خالد ام حمزه ام صداه و نیز دارای 14 فرزند است ناقضا من نواقض الاسلام العشره التي اجمع اهل العلم 